All right, what is up, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome to the third edition of the Card Collector's Corner. Um, some of the things we're going to try to discuss tonight, uh, we're going to go through uh, uh, scammers and scamming, kind of the elephant in the room, try to um, give some tips, some of the things I've seen uh, over the years, try to maybe help uh, prevent that. Um, that's just it's just a dirty thing so uh, we're gonna do that um, kind of talk about um, collecting different types of sports basketball baseball football value wise um, what's maybe good to collect or you know what maybe not be good to collect depending on what your favorite sport is as well and then we'll do a little quick preview of uh, tops series uh, two baseball and then kind of look at what's uh, coming up over the next in the next couple weeks there's gonna be a slight lull product for the next couple weeks so we'll talk about that as well so please feel free to put uh, anything in the comments um, anything you want to discuss if you have a question uh, throw that up there too um, I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability um, and uh, we can interact a little bit so <clears throat> so <laughs> what's wrong with my shirt Nick this is a good shirt and it's extremely comfortable as well just so you know uh, it's uh, it, you know it's 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 fitting. I'm trying to get my thing up here. Um, this is this What's is a wrong, my very nice shirt. Very nice shirt. So let's discuss. <laughs> um, I have another one just like it. If you want one, you just let. I got your address, so I'll send it right to you. Not a problem. It's on me. It's on the house. <laughs> so <laughs> all right. So uh, first topic uh, is uh, scammers and scamming. Um, so as we're all aware, uh, unfortunately there's people out there that, uh, try to scam out of cards or money, um, uh, in the various groups. Um, it's even on eBay. Um, I've had some instances where, um, uh, I've, uh, done some deals on eBay and they just flat out say, Hey, tough. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so through the eBay, you just have to file the claim and, kind of move forward from there but need a lion in there <clears throat> if I want to be like an 0 and 16 person I'll have a lion right here no, I'm just kidding as, as, as low as low I'm sorry so uh, so in the groups uh, that we reside it's uh, a little harder to you can't really file a claim unless you do uh, uh, friends or uh, goods and services payments so um, just some things uh, that I've seen that kind of put up some red flags when it comes to dealing with uh, an individual or, um, or or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> um, for me, uh, a red flag is someone that posts without photos. Um, that's where the phrase coining come through. Um, you can literally put a coin in your photo if you like. But usually someone will take, you know, a sheet of, of paper or a business card or an ID or something that um, has their name and date that proves that the ownership of the car, because we all know you can copy, edit, paste any photo that you want. Um, so, um, but you'll see posts in groups where they're, they're you know, in, is anyone interested in Seahawks cards? To me, that's a red flag um, because you would think they would add photos with that. Uh, what kind of Seahawks cars do they have? Um, you know, is it a lot? Is it a group? Yes, they, they will do that as well. Yeah, they will try to drop prices until someone invites on it. But um, <clears throat> what they're doing is they're kind of fishing for, you know, you to say, yes, I'm interested. Um, and then the, without photos, once again, Hey, I have X, Y, and Z for fifty dollars. Here's my PayPal. You send them the money, and you'll never get any cards. So, for me, like I said, a huge red flag, and, it, and it's not every case, but it's a red flag for me. Um, is is anyone interested in X? Um, so I always stay away from those posts. Um, <clears throat> another uh, red flag is um, blurred pictures. Um, that are not coined. Um, the reason being is a blurred picture could have been copied and enlarged or something um, from another website, uh, which, you know, if you 
uh, edit or expand a photo. It can blur it depending on the pixels of the photo. Um, so for me, that's a red flag. That's why I think it's always a great idea to coin your cards um, as much as you possibly can. Um, but a blurred photo is, is definitely a red flag for me um, when it comes to somebody scamming or scamming. Um, <clears throat> another red flag is someone who's overly pushy. Um, if somebody is just constantly berating you uh, about the card or buying a card or trying to trade the card, um, to me that's a red flag as well because if they're trying to be overly pushy, they're really trying to get something out of you and, and they're not going to give you anything in return. <clears throat> so um, usually, and I've encountered these over the months, um, usually if I get somebody that's overly pushy, I kind of just, you know, say, hey man, um, you know, appreciate it, but I don't, I, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'll let you know. Um, and then just kind of move forward from there. Um, so, uh, that's another red flag. Um, <clears throat> so what are some of the other things that you see? You know, if you want to drop it in there, let me know. But those are some of the kind of the things that, that, that show red flags. Um, now as far as preventing getting scammed, um, like us in our group here, always ask for vouchers. Um, if somebody's honest um, and you're getting ready to do a, a fairly large deal or whatever the case may be, um, I think it's quite okay to ask for somebody to vouch on each side. And if the person is genuine, they won't mind either because you're getting to know that person. You know, it's your first interaction with the individual. Um, and like you said, as we know, there's, there's scammers out there uh, and it's nothing against the individual. It's just, you know, let's get to know each other through some other people that you've had dealings with. So when you get to about that five voucher area, three to five vouchers, um, I, think, uh, I think you're okay to make the deal or, or do the trade or, or whatever the case may be. So, um, hey, what's up, Sean? How you doing, man? <clears throat> so um, uh, that's Sean. Uh, it's Daniel on there, but Daniel Koontz owns uh, Overtime Memorabilia, uh, has some amazing memorabilia pieces, some amazing singles. Um, that he has uh, at his shop. It's, you know, really super nice, high-end, you know, those once-in-a-lifetime cards. So, um, so you know, he's got some stuff on our, our group page. So, you know, check him out. Um, his memorabilia pieces are top-notch. They're, they're absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for that memorabilia, um, custom as well, he does custom work. So check him out <laughs> at uh, Overtime Memorabilia. Um, but, yeah, if you got crazy names, stuff like that, you know, it's always it's it's um, that sets up a red flag too. Um, you know, one of the ways to protect yourself is obviously paying um, uh, goods and services uh, through PayPal. Um, that kind of protects you. You still have to go through the claim process if something does happen. But people um, can always. <laughs> what is it? I'm not I'm not flipping cards tonight, baby. Bam! I'm not flipping no cards tonight. <clears throat> so. Bad shirt. Come on, guys. It's the Cowboys. It's a great shirt. Oh, but um, but there's always the the potential of chargebacks. Um, I've seen chargebacks on eBay as well. So, um, but that's another way to protect yourself. Um, for me, the number one way um for protection is is going through the vouch process. <laughs> God, you guys are killing me. Uh, I'm not wearing. All right, next 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 week I'm wearing my Cowboys jersey. I'm wearing I'm gonna wear my T.O. jersey just for you guys. So uh, <laughs> Hall of Famer by the way. Um, so uh, for me, uh, the two things I would look for is coining cards. Um, if someone's you know coining their cards, you know even if they're five or ten dollars, it, it proves ownership. It shows a genuine individual. I think those are good individuals to deal with. Um, and then anybody that uh, is willing to ask for vouchers or mutual vouchers. Um, I think that's the best way to do. Believe me, I have seen uh, many of, of things, uh, cars that I would love to have, but it doesn't really meet the criteria that I feel comfortable with, and I pass on it. Sometimes it's difficult, but it's, um, it's just easier to go ahead and pass because, you know, something will come up down the road too, so... <clears throat> That's my <laughs> he was his quarterback. He was. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Oh, T.O. Oh, man. I actually got to see. Who did I see? Yeah, I got to see T.O. I did. I got to see him. 
played Panther. So, um, so that's kind of the few things that I've seen um, for scamming scammers. Um, try to how to try to prevent it or avoid it or whatever. Um, like I said, in, in our trading and selling group, um, I, I recommend that you ask for them. Um, like I said, it's it's nothing personal. It's nothing against the individual. I would ask for somebody for to vouch for me if I was going to do a large trade or do a large sale. I don't mind at all. Um, but those people that tend to get upset over certain things like that, those are the ones you got to watch out for. And unfortunately, it happens on a daily basis. And like I said, at the end of the day, you're going to get you're getting a few bucks. You know, you're get, getting some cards. You know, from a hobby that's supposed to be enjoyable. Um, so I mean, I, I personally don't understand why people do it. Um, uh, and I've seen people that, that claim that they've been scammed out of hundreds, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Um, you know, if you're going to go through a deal that large, without question, I would ask for the the coin photos. I'd ask for vouchers, and I may would even pay goods and services. Um, so, and and I've had some dealings with some individuals. Their only means of payment is money order. I haven't had any issues with those individuals. Um, I always start with a very, very low deal first, uh, that five, ten dollar range. So if something does happen, I'm not out a whole lot. Uh, once I do a few of those deals, I'll hey, maybe we'll go 20, 30. If I do a few of those deals, then I kind of feel comfortable um, maybe doing a little bit more uh, after that. <clears throat> so but uh, but it's always a risk when you do that. It, it really is it's always a risk, but um, that that's kind of my my spiel with uh, scammers and scamming. And like I said, if you have any any suggestions or any other things that you've seen, please feel free to comment below uh, in the feed, and I'll respond back and, and all that stuff. So, twelve thousand dollars. Wow, that is insane. That's that's a lot of money. Um, uh, I mean, that's that's. I'll be honest with you personally. I would never do a deal that large in a group. I, I just personally wouldn't because um, that is a significant amount of money. Um, so, I mean, I hate that. That's, that's awful. He sent you 25. Yeah. And look, the, there's a couple of guys and I've met them. And I, there's a few that I've dealt with on multiple occasions. Um, they just don't feel comfortable having their information on the internet. There are people like that, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. So this is their only means of payment. That's why I start with that small deal. You know, if it happens to be a scam, I mean, ten bucks is ten bucks anyway. You slice it. But hey, if it gets me for ten, at least it didn't get me for five hundred. So, you know, and, and that's kind of how I do it there. <clears throat> so. All right, let's let's move on uh, to um, sport. The collecting of the different genres of sports. So we have your four main ones: baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. Um, I'll be honest with you; I don't know a whole lot about hockey. Uh, just some things that I've seen uh, over the years uh, in groups and stuff like that. Um, okay, in basketball, you know, football, baseball is my main knowledge. Um, so. Uh, what I've seen from hockey uh, and basketball, it kind of seems the same way. <laughs> Look, this is the only shirt. Here, let me show it for you right here. This is the only shirt you'll ever need, ever. It's gorgeous. Look at this. Quality American-made material right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know a lot about hockey. Like I said, um, it – for me, um, hockey cards. If you hit the right individuals, like I know that you know Connor McDavid was hot a few years ago. Um, the big name hockey guys, they do sell for quite a bit of money. Um, they're. It, it's not like basketball, where in basketball, if you hit um, at this point this year, let's say you, you know if you were to hit a Kyrie Irving auto, um, people don't desire that as much as they would a. Um, uh, a Mitchell Auto, uh, the rookie uh, from Utah. <clears throat> so uh, hockey seems to really like their stars um, a whole lot and kind of nothing else from what I've seen. Like I said, I don't know much about hockey, so if I'm a little off base, please feel free to let me know. Uh, basketball is all about rookie cards. I feel like nobody wants anything but rookie cards, um, which makes it hard, um, especially if you're trying to, 
you know, if you buy a couple boxes or, or you're in a break or something like that, and, you know, because there's good players on most teams. Um, and, you know, if you hit that Kyrie Irving auto, you know, out of a box, somebody uh, – it's not worth as much as I feel like it should be because it's Kyrie Irving. He's one of the best players in the NBA or, or an Anthony Davis auto. They just want the rookie cards, which I, I get to a certain degree, but um, it's not that way for uh, – at least for football. <clears throat> um, in football – uh, all good players are desirable. I mean, you know, everybody still wants a, uh, you know, well, let me throw somebody out here. Um, you know, a third year Dak Prescott auto Cowboys. That's right. Uh, you know, everybody still wants, uh, especially the fans of the team, you know, you know that fifth year Derek Carr patch auto, um, you know, people still desire, you know, an Eli Manning auto, uh, you know, 12 years, 13 years in, you know, especially if you're a Giants fan, um, those still have good value. Um, even if it's not the rookie card, obviously the rookie cards are worth more, but compared to especially basketball, whereas, you know, if you hit a, a LeBron James auto 14 years in the league, it still has value, but it doesn't have the same value as compared to, you know, an Aaron Rodgers auto. So, you know, if I hit, you know, a, a one of five Aaron Rodgers auto from this year. I mean, it's worth hundreds of dollars um, compared to, you know, maybe if you hit a LeBron James auto this year, it could only be worth $80, which that's probably the wrong number for that card, but I'm tr trying to make the point. Um, and then, you know, the baseball cards are kind of the same way. Um, <clears throat> so uh, what's disappointing about baseball this year is they're not putting in autos for every team. A little disappointed in that. I think it's going to get better as the products roll out. Um, but, um, but you know, with baseball cards, too, you can still collect uh, your favorite plays. Like a, Mount, a Mike Trout auto is still worth, you know, hundreds of dollars if you hit that low number. Uh, you know, uh, some of the other greats, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, a King Griffey Jr. auto, even if it comes out this year's product, you know, low enough number is still worth hundreds of dollars uh, for sure. Um, depend, like I said, depending on the product. Um, so, uh, for me, it's a little easier to collect football, baseball because of that fact. You know, I don't really know enough about hockey to really speak to the fact that, but I do know their superstars are worth several hundred dollars if you hit those types of cards, depending on the product. And then basketball, it's all about rookies. It's all about rookie cards. I feel like people don't desire, uh, the veterans at all in any year. So, um, <clears throat> But, yeah, so, I mean, if you had a few, like, you know, Kobe would still probably be good. Um, but, uh, you know, it's – so it, it's kind of – it'll kind of help you collect the different sports if, if you're interested in that. So, all right. Um, so, last topic, uh, we'll move on to um, top Series 2 baseball. Um, honestly, if you're – um, and to building a set, um, that's a good, it's a good product for you. A uh, lot of like excitement in there. I seen earlier the day, there's 78 different, uh, players that have variations of cards. That's a ton. Um, the big draw for tops for me is the silver packs. Um, that's where the good cards are and you don't, you have to buy the hobby box to get the silver packs. And sometimes those individuals that sell those keep the silver packs or they do the breaks and they keep the silver packs. Um, so, I mean, if you just like cards and you like building sets, to me, Top Series 2 uh, would be a good product for you at a good value. They're around $65, $70 a box. Uh, jumbos are about double that, I think, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. So, um, so yeah, like I said, it depends on um, <clears throat> what you're looking for uh, as far as a collector. So, um and then coming up in our break room, there's going to be a slight lull in breaks. Uh, I am going to post a uh, ma uh, Majestic and Luminous Mixer um, probably ooh, sometime in the next day or two. I don't know when. I'm going to figure it out. Um, so I still have a Luminous break up. I still have eight spots left. Uh, i got a couple of the breaks up. They're not really feeling, so I'm probably pull those down. But save your money. End of June. Um, Inception Baseball comes out, which is an awesome product. What else comes out? Stadium Club comes out. Always a fan favorite there. 
Donruss Elite Football. It will be the first football release with the rookies in a pro uniform um, with uh, on-card autos. Um, they've moved um, muse I said, was it museum collection. Yeah, museum collection has been moved back till the 29th, so it comes out that week as well. <clears throat> so a lot of stuff coming out the last week of June, and then the first of July we've got uh, Panini Gold Standard football coming out, which is going to be sweet. Um, what else? Uh, there's something else that's coming out, and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, I can't remember. But uh, but that end of June, first of July, is going to be that's going to be the prime time uh, for the new release stuff. It's going to be big time breaks. Uh, I'll have it all posted. We'll do it all, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll do another episode uh, next week. Uh, pick out a few topics, maybe do a Q and A. Um, but uh, if there's anything you guys want to discuss, like I said, feel free to jump in there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. The link's in the description. Um, I'll post all my breaks and, and this up there as well. So uh, appreciate it, guys. It was awesome. Had a good time. Uh, and then I hope everyone have a, a wonderful night. And we will talk next week.